Hi guys, Melissa Johnson Haight here, Independent Sensi Consultant, back with you again today. I just got my testers and my haul. This video specifically is going to be just my testers uh, and the catalog walkthrough for the new spring summer 2023. And then catch my next video. It's going to have first sniffs with Dale and me um, of the new, the, the 10 new releases. It's going to have the stuff I got in my haul, including the Easter scent. So stay tuned for that. But this right here, we're just gonna walk through the testers and no, I'm not gonna sniff the, the 10 new releases cause I'm waiting for him. So we'll just skip over those, sniff the rest. So here we go. Um, so in the fruity category, um, and pardon me for reaching, I have these all laid out on my table. So the first one is interesting that it came back. It was the scent of the month. It was a good one um, and it's Appealing Apple. Oh. Yeah. And this is Sugary Sweetness of Juicy Apple, Lively Pear, even more tempting with a touch of flowering sweet pea. I do like this one. I actually think I like it better than Johnny Appleseed, the floral, what is that, sweet pea? And it um, makes it sweeter, I guess, than Johnny Appleseed. But I'm a floral girl, so take that as you will. So there's appealing apples in the fruity category. I think fruity is the largest of the categories. Then we have from last year's new releases, Apple Teeny Splash. I do not care for this one, but it's green apple nashi pear stirred with a big splash of simple syrup. I tend to just get tree. Although here it's not as tree, it's it's kind of pretty sweet. I should try it again. I don't know. Last year when I melted Apple Teeny Splash, splash try to try to slow down. I got trees and was like, I'm just not in the mood for trees right now. The next one is Apricot Vanilla. This one always goes with my Scentsy Club. It, to me, it's like Perry's Peach Ice Cream. It's described as heirloom peach, apricot, vanilla ice cream, Tempt Fate, and everyone else's, one of Heidi's favorites. It's light, but it's so creamy. It's I think it's stronger for me personally than Tangerine Creamsicle. So of the two, I always put this one on my club because I love the Perry's peach ice cream. Mm. Then next one, I worry about the fate of this one for the future, but Berry Bright. This one is described as blue raspberry, fresh clementine, a light way to sweet spun sugar. Bite the way, sorry. And this is like a blue raspberry hush puppy. Hush puppy, slush puppy. <laughs> Not a hush puppy that you give Flunk John Silvers, but slush puppy. So that's, yeah, it's um, definitely blue raspberry. It's very good. It's nice medium strength. And then everybody's favorite, black raspberry vanilla. I'm not sure since you'll ever get rid of this one. Delicious sun sweeping dark berries warmed with vanilla. This is one of the first scents my, uh, my daughter ever put in her club, her Scentsy Club. She loves it. It does have like a perfumey musky type scent ever so soft but it's like a perfumey black raspberry with some vanilla <laughs> then this was from the summer collection a few years ago my daughter's kept this in her scentsy club so it's interesting it came back this is blue agave and melon this is a strong performer it's a sweet desert oasis lush with blue agave honeydew melon and kiwi to me, it's just very, very, very candy sweet. Very candy sweet. So good and very strong. I do love that one. So it is nice to have that one back. I was missing it. <laughs> and then one of my not favorites, Camu Camu. This is described as tropical oasis of lush mandarin, Camu Camu and passion fruit. It's a medium performer. I have, well, not so much in the tester. I, I struggle with the testers because I don't think they give you a true representation of the fragrance. 
I get a little bit of papaya in this. I think that's why I don't love Kimu Kimu. Um, to me, it's very papaya-ish. Then Cloudberry Dreams. I do often wonder about the, the longevity of this in Scentsy Land. But Cloudberry Dreams is sweet raspberry with a whisper of rose. Soar through billowy, billowy bursts of peach and vanilla. I do like this one. It is pretty. You do lightly get the rose. It's been a it's been a hot minute since I've melted this. It's nice. Um, the raspberry, the peach, the rose. It's a good description. You do kind of get all of that. So that's Cloudberry Dreams. And we have Gobo Mango. A lot of people struggle with the performance of this one. I didn't, it wasn't too bad for me. It's probably a four out of 10, four, four-ish. So that's Go Go Mango. Juicy Mango and Melon garnished with hibiscus and sweet banana flower. But if you struggle with the scent, just put more cubes in your warmer. The recommended amount is four in most. So just put, just put more cubes in. You know, you should have better success with Go Go Mango. It's a good one. It's fruity. It's like a perfumey mango. It's not like true mango. Like I wish it was. Then we have the good old standby Johnny Appleseed. I do wonder if a peeling apple, if they're toying with the idea of it beating out Johnny Appleseed, which is just picked Macintosh. Pops with apple peels and a hint of crisp pear. It's 100% a Mac apple, like you sliced it with an apple slicer. It's strong, almost too strong. It kind of gives me a headache sometimes because it's so strong. So that's Johnny Appleseed, but it is very authentic Macintosh apple. Then we have Mahalo Coconut. Sometimes this goes in my coffee and sometimes it doesn't. This is pretty to melt in your bedroom in the winter, believe it or not, if you like floral. <laughs> But Paradise is only a whiff away with floral Hawaiian lei and violet over fresh fruity pineapple and coconut. It is, it's very creamy. It's very pretty. If you like Coastal Sunset, I definitely think you'll like Mahalo Coconut. <laughs> Watching the kittens playing with stuff on the shelves. I have like a wooden Buddha sitting there and they're like tapping the, <laughs> the wooden Buddha. It's kind of funny. Then we have Mango Matcha. That's a new release. With, um, it's described as mango nectar, matcha sorbet topped with a slice of salted cucumber and a dash of pure sugar cane. Let's just see what that smells like later. Pina Colada Cha Cha, that always goes in my club. That's my daughter's favorite. Island coconut and zesty pineapple lead white rum and vanilla bean follow. I don't get any alcohol. To me, it's a virgin pina colada from like Red Lobster. My daughter used to get them all the time. So sorry, I'm just watching what they're doing. They're super funny. Um, the next one is Pink Rhubarb Sugar. This was a returning scent from last year. Um, this one is Pink Rhubarb, sweetened with sparkling raspberry and an extra scoop of sugar. <laughs> Sorry, they're, they're really funny. It's so pretty. It's like, I actually enjoy this one. It's a nice medium, light to medium. It's like a sugary raspberry. Uh, I but I am a big fan of raspberry. So then we have rainbow red. Um, this is from the Catch Rainbows collection. So it's interesting. This one is back. It wasn't a favorite of mine, but it was okay. Soft watermelon hues highlight the way highlight the sweetness of cherry and strawberry. It's okay. I don't know. It's artificial to me, but um, I'm, I'll meld it again and see if I feel differently about it. But Chase Rainbows, Hibiscus. Oh, sorry. Rainbow Sherbert. Oh, I read. Sorry. Red Rainbow Sherbert. <laughs> Rainbow Red is watermelon, cherry, and strawberry. 
Rainbow Sherbet is orange zest, sugared strawberry, key lime. Did I? Zing like the real thing. Whenever they say zing like the real thing, it reminds me of if you've ever watched um, the animated film Hotel Transylvania. Like zing when they fall in love. It always reminds me of that. But this goes in my club every end of the catalog because I absolutely love it. It's it's a strong bar. It's very authentic. It's probably 8 out of 10. It's great. And it does zing like a real thing. Then we have hibiscus rat, raspberry hibiscus tea that we'll talk about later. That one's described as wild raspberry hibiscus petals sweetened with a spoonful of elderberry sugar. Then we have ruby nectarine. I know a lot of people love this. This was a scent of the month last year. And this is juicy nectarine, ruby apple, blended with pear blossom, put a fresh spin, fresh spin on fruity. I don't mind it on cold so much, but on warm it gets a little play-doughy and it's just not my favorite thing. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't excite me, but skinny dipping. I definitely don't like this one. This one's definitely papaya and weird to me, but so many people love this. It's a brick and scentsy club. It's a good performer, nice medium performer. Fresh green apples, perfectly harmonized with refreshing melons and juicy pears. Mm, it's papaya. <laughs> it's like papaya to me. I don't love that one. I'm a huge fan because this was in my club. This was from the Island Days Wax Collection, so this is kind of fun. Star Apple and Freesia. This is a burst of star apple, tropical mango, garnished with pink Freesia. Super exciting. It's a good performer. It's a nice 7 out of 10. It's so good. I love Star Apple and Freesia. I kind of hope it sticks around a while, but I'll more than likely be clubbing that. And then everybody's favorite sugared strawberry. A blend of luscious strawberries, juicy currants, California sun-kissed lemons. I don't ever club it, but it's it's okay. Of the artificial strawberries, I guess I like this one. I'm just not a huge, I guess, strawberry fan, unless a strawberry swirl. Huge fan of strawberry swirl, but. Then we have Summer Moonlight. I clubbed this for a little while, then I dropped it. This is amazing. I had a feeling this would come back. Fresh strawberries sparkle alongside sweet pea and shimmering sandalwood. This combination is gorgeous. It's like the summer version of cashmere and corduroy. Oh, it's beautiful. It's it's perfumey. It, I would wear this as a perfume. It's so good. It's fruity. It's perfumey. Oh, that's amazing. I love Summer Moonlight, so I plan to buy some and melt some. And then we have new this year, <laughs> this season, Tropic Nectar. Since he describes it as tropical fruit nectar, gets even sweeter with coconut milk and golden agave. And then we have Vitamin Unwind. I just got through melting this. I love this one. This was my favorite of the collection, and I clubbed it for a little while. This is sweet apple blossom and crisp cucumber pear drift above serene spa water. I think that if you love to mix sugar and pink haze, you'll enjoy this. If you love the Easter collection, well, I haven't smelled those. If you love the Valentine's collection, yeah, you'll love that. It's really pretty. I love that. The pink sugarberry mint without the mint. Yes. It's good. Um, Angel Experiment 624 vibes. Yeah, you'll love that. And then lastly, <laughs> I think this is boring, but Dale loves this one. Watermelon Tangerine. This is sweet watermelon slices spiked with juicy tangerine and dewy greens. Believe it or not, it's dewy greens. But it's not the gross dewy greens. Or else they blend it so well. It's just boring to me. I don't love the artificial. I'm more of the perfumey, but if it's fruity, I tend to like, like Rainbow Sherbet, Penny Clotta Cha Cha, I tend to prefer the more authentic or perfumey. So it's a decent performer. It's five out of 10 probably. 
Then we're on to the citrus category. Uh, best seller, thank goodness, because I love it. Most most men love this, but my son. This is Blue Grotto. Run away with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus, and lush botanicals. I think it's so good. Oh, I love this. It reminds me of Berry Bright, but better. I mean, Berry Bright is definitely blue raspberry slush puppy. And this is definitely all the fun citrus fruits. Oh, it's so good. There's, I don't smell any botanicals. It's all citrus yumminess. <laughs> so I, I love that one. That's a great performer. Probably six or seven out of 10. Coco Lime, this is a strong performer. Uh, this is coconut milk, creamy vanilla, energized with citrusy splash of fresh lime. I love this. My son thinks it smells like a cleaner. I mean, I get that, the lime, I guess. To me, it's like a lime lollipop. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love cocoa lime. It's a good one. I like it way better than the next one. Great performer, like seven or eight out of 10. Coconut lemongrass. And I think it's because I got a brick of this in Scentsy Club and I burned myself out on it. But this is creamy tropical coconut, sunny, bright lemongrass. But it's the lemongrass that bothers me in this one. It's not just lemon and coconut like I wish. The lemongrass adds a weirdness to it. It's okay. But it does get rid of weird food odors like fish or whatever. It's a good performer, like 7 out of 10. Havana Cabana. I always club this one. My son loves this one. Luscious medley of pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. I get a banana popsicle. <laughs> more, I get more banana than I do pineapple. But it's 100% a banana popsicle to me. And I love it so much. Mm, yum, yum. It's a, probably a 5 out of 10. Maybe a 4 out of 10. Lemon sorbet, it's my favorite lemon. This is fresh cut lemon, grapefruit zest, sweetened by sugar cane. To me, it's an authentic Luigi's uh, Italian ice, 100%. I can taste it when I smell it. And I love it. It zings like the real thing too. So that is lemon sorbet. Then we have paradise punch. My daughter loves to club this one. This is a medley of wild orange, sunny lemon juice, Acai berry and star fruit. It's like um, Hawaiian punch. It's it's one hundred percent Hawaiian punch. It's good. I don't mind it. It's just not my go to scent, but it's very good. Uh, probably six out of ten. Pineapple mango. I club this. Is this the one that I clubbed? Yeah, this was the new release last year that I. Clubbed. I didn't, I clubbed it and then I dropped it, but uh, this is bright blend of sweet pineapple, juicy mango, and passion flower. This is so good. It's like pineapple, but better. I did love pineapple pucker. I'm sad it didn't come back, but this is, makes it okay. <laughs> Cause you do get like the go go mango feel and then pineapple. It's like a sweet, lovely pineapple. It's not astringent or sharp. So that's a good performer. Probably six out of 10, seven out of 10. This bar, <laughs> this one, I can't believe it came back in citrus. This is pink lemon water. It was this uh, uh, scent of the month. Rose water infused with refreshing lemon and a spoonful of sugar. The rose water kills me. I get too much rose. I see why it's refreshing for people. The lemon, I don't know that it's citrus. To me, it's floral, but it's very rose to me. But I'm sensitive to artificial rose, so it's not a favorite for me. But it's probably 5 out of 10. A decent performer but I think you've got to love artificial rose to enjoy it and the one that I'm excited about from the Chase Rainbows collection because this was the only one I actually kind of liked not enough to club but I kind of like this one this is sparkling yellow 
from the Chase Rainbow Collection. This is Radiant Lemonade, brightened by flashes of zesty grapefruit and pineapple. This one's actually pretty good. It reminds me a lot though of pineapple mango. I'm anxious to warm these together because This one's a little bit more like a lemon lollipop. Um, pineapple mango. Pineapple mango. Has a little something else. Yeah, um, so sparkling yellow is definitely chase frame or chase frame is definitely lemon sucker lollipop. Like you're sucking on a lemon lollipop. And then pineapple mango isn't quite as as bright. Um, it's a little muted. But I need to melt those together. Hey, Robin. <laughs> um, I, I feel wax force coming on with like uh, sparkling yellow. I vote we have Robin do wax wars with. Um, sparkling yellow, oh my gosh, sparkling yellow, pineapple mango, and the, from the Sensepirations collection, what is that? Mango margarita, Robin. <laughs> These all smell similar to me, so I'm voting for that. <laughs> and then squeeze the day, which is a favorite. I do enjoy this one. I don't dislike it. I just prefer lemon sorbet, so I club lemon sorbet, but this is Squeeze the Day. Tart and true fragrance of pure lemons balanced by a hint of vanilla cream, whereas lemon sorbet, I get a definite, ooh, my wax fell right out of the, hold, hold please. Um, I get a definite lemon sorbet from lemon sorbet. This one does have a tendency to come off like a cleaner to me. I don't mind it on days that I want that refreshing feel of a citrus, but it does have that tendency. So it's a good performer, like seven out of 10. Sparkling yellow, I can't tell you because I don't remember. <laughs> and then sunkissed citrus, lively blend of oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruit. I don't dislike this one. It's refreshing. It's just kind of like, um, Liz, sorry, they make my nose tickle. <laughs> like Elizabeth Seems and Scent said, and I agree, it's, it's a flat citrus. It's not like a bright orange or a bright lemon. I don't feel the zing of the grapefruit. It's beautiful, like in the way that tangerine creamsicle is kind of flat and muted. It's less creamy or vanilla, but... Senka Citrus is a good one. It's not a bad one. It's a good, mm, that was kind of light for me personally. Probably a four out of 10. Then Tangerine Creamsicle, Icy Tangerine blended with mango and vanilla cream swirl. Make the sweetest tropical treat. It's exactly like a creamsicle that you eat. Exactly, you smell the, the vanilla and that light orange popsicle coating over the vanilla cream. It's this is probably a three out of 10 for me, but in the summer when it's like super hot, 90 degrees out there here in Pennsylvania, and it's humid and muggy and you're sweating just standing still, <laughs> these are the kind of scents that you want. You don't want anything very heavy like rainbow sherbet that might be too intense. So these are great for those really hot days. And it does have its place, so it's just not one I club because I enjoy it. I don't need it. Then we're on to the floral category, <laughs> one of my favorites. Aloha Citrus. This is a fresh tide of tangerine, jade blossom, vetiver. This is like a 3 out of 10. Maybe even a 2 out of 10. It's not real strong. It's boring to me. But I'm not a fruity girl. I mean, I enjoy fruit in its place, but I don't dislike fruit. I just, it's my least go-to category usually, and especially when they're more artificial. So, yeah. Here comes the sunflowers, which I would have made 
a little high citrus, like citrus or fruity, but whatever. <laughs> um, here come the sunflowers is sunkissed petals, fruity must celebrate all things spring and a sweet pop of strawberry. I love this. I'm not real familiar with Elizabeth Arden sunflower perfume, so I can't even tell you a comparison. But to me, it's like a really pretty perfume. I love this. I actually think I love this one more than I like Scarlet Sunflower. Oh, yeah, Scarlet Plum, so, fun. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Scarlet Sunflower is a lot more of the harvesty fruits in, in there. With this perf slight perfumey, this is more perfumey. So for me, I love this one. I may actually club this one at the end of this season. Mm, probably a five out of 10, roughly, it's been a while. Hibiscus pineapple. This is hibiscus pineapple, touch of sweet mandarin, tell an enchanting tropical tale. It's okay. It's pretty, but if you liked Plumeria Peach, you would like this. It's it's not my vibe, but it's nice. I enjoy it. I'd melt it. I'd enjoy it. I don't dislike it. It's just not one I would ever reach for. I have it in the body care I'm still trying to use up. It's nice. Look at me trying to smell the... <laughs> it's probably a 5, 6 out of 10. Kukui and Coconut was from the Summer Collection. This is Tropical Coconut Kukui Nut Lounge on a Bed of Soft Jasmine. To me, this is very, um, very much almost identical to Coastal Sunset. So if you like Coastal Sunset, you'll like it. I don't really get floral. It's a little different than Coastal Sunset, but they're pretty much a lot alike. So it's very coconut, it's slightly nutty beachy, creamy. It's okay. <laughs> Probably a five or a six out of ten. Lilacs and violets. I always club this one. <clears throat> Perfect combination, <clears throat> excuse me, of lilacs, violets, the smell of spring. It's authentic. If you've ever, you know, had family or whatever that's had a lilac bush, it's identical. It's authentic. It makes you feel like, and I think on a warm day when the windows are open, breeze is blown through, you melt this, it's going to feel like you have a lilac bush right outside. Oh, it's good. I love that one. Huge, huge favorite of mine. That always goes in my club. I don't want to be without that one. And Luna, mine is discolored. This is actually a blue wax, <laughs> like the bottom, and mine looks like that. This is white florals, jasmine, sweet pea, freesia, juicy berry, sandalwood, shimmer like moonlight, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Most people love this. It's like the perfect Bath and Body Works body care scent. It's not offensive flowers like lilacs and violets can be. It's pretty. If you like shimmer, I dare say sugar. Yeah. So most people love it. It's a bestseller. And don't worry if it discolors because it still is great. Then we have Peace Lily Be With You. It's a new scent. It's Peace Lily, white Peace Lily. <laughs> Green apple harmonized with watery greens and a touch of vanilla. So I'm excited about that one. And so can Rays. This one is Feel the Sunshine as Bright Mandarin, Orange Flower, Bask in Ocean Air. Can't wait to smell that later. That's a new release. And then we have the fresh category. This is the next biggest category, which I don't mind. I either love fresh or I hate fresh. <laughs> so we have aloe water and cucumber. This is bestseller. This is aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, pineapple nectar, or oh so mellow. If you love blue agave and melon, it's very much that sweet candy-like Ever since I got this in the body care, in the body care is kind of plastic smelling. I don't love this scent anymore like I used to. This is still one of the top best performing pods I've ever used. So, but the scent is kind of strong. Mm. Seven out of 10 probably. Amazon Rain, this is Dale's favorite. It's okay. Oh, it kind of matches my 
and it matches my shirt, a little chartreuse -ish. Um, This is set off in a rainforest romp, swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange zest, coconut milk, sultry night blooming jasmine. I think it's boring. It doesn't do much for me, but Dale loves this. I know Hannah Blazard likes this one too. Look, you guys. <laughs> It's pretty. I don't dislike it. I just, it doesn't excite me. Like I'm more excited about lilacs and violets, but I'm a floral girl. That's just refreshing. It's, I mean, people really love this because it's not intense floral. It's not in your face. It's just very spa-like. Then we have banana leaf and bamboo. I have smelled this one. Um, it came in a whiff box and I melted it. I really love this one. Oh, I love this. I'm going to club it. If you enjoyed aloe vera and ivy you would love this it's pretty it's got that ivy feel of aloe vera and ivy oh it's pretty it's sweet it's got juicy white peach banana leaf enveloped enveloped sorry aged bamboo and sheer mahogany it does have the bamboo note if you liked bamboo what was I don't remember that scent of the month, the bamboo one, but it, it does have that scent note. It's a good one. It's pretty. It's fresh. Then we have this mine's discoloring by the sea. I don't like this one. The scent of ocean air wafting through dewy seaside grass. Mm, it smells like dirty window cells. <laughs> it smells dusty, soapy. I normally like the soapy ones. I think it's the dusty part that I don't love in that one. It's strong. Uh, this is like a 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's pretty strong. Maybe because I don't like it as strong. Uh, and then I do love this one. So does my son. Um, clean Breeze. This is White Florals. Touch of Spring. This is a fret. This is the scent of fresh, clean laundry. It really is. It's just like uh, your typical... Downy fabric softener. It's pretty. Mm, I love that one. I do love Clean Breeze a lot. Then we have Clothesline. This is the strongest scent, I swear, since he's ever made. Three cubes about Chase me out of my house. And if you know me, you know I love to do an entire wax bar. This three chased me out. I had to take it out of my warmers. It was too intense. So slow your roll on this one. <laughs> From experience, this is a 12 out of 10. <laughs> this is crisp greens, orange flower, creamy violet, white wicker basket will let you savor the scent of just washed laundry. It's okay. I much prefer it <laughs> in the laundry. I actually really enjoy it in laundry. I don't so much love to melt this one. I love melting clean breeze. This is definitely dryer sheet fabric softener. This is laundry and it's intense. It's the kind of floral that would definitely give me a headache. Ooh, orange flower. Oh no, you guys. <gasps> I just realized clothesline has orange flower. Soak and raise has orange flower. I do not love the orange flower, I don't think. Oh no. That makes me feel sad about soak and raise. I might leave that tester out. That's scary. <laughs> uh oh. Sorry, they tickle my nose. Um, I know, don't put your nose on them, dummy, right? <laughs> and then we have coconuts for coconuts. This is ocean breeze weaves along a coastal coastline lush with wild coconut and tiare flower it's coconuts with tiare flower it's okay i think i'll like it better this year than i did last year i'm looking for the perfect coconut i think ashley peas ashley nicole said that um me too ashley i haven't found the perfect <laughs> coconut either and I keep looking for it. I think the closest I came was coconut cotton and I let that go. It's okay, it's pretty. I like it better than the other coconuts. Mm. 
It's not what I wanted. It's like coconuts with a splash of lush gardenia to me. Eh, it's okay. I see why they may have gotten rid of lush gardenia, whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, my nose. And <laughs> Daydream Oasis. This was this uh, new release last year too. This is Lose Yourself in Sweet Melon and Visions of Luminous Pear Leaf and Water Lily. I do really like this. If you like palm trees and ocean breeze, I think you'll like this. If you liked pr Prickly Pear and Agave, I think you'll like this. It's pretty, it's like a gorgeous shampoo. I, it's very shampoo like to me and I do like this one and this lasts for days this is probably oh man at least a 6 out of 10 and it lasted for almost a week <laughs> in my bathroom in my office area upstairs one of my all time favorites jammy time uh, this you can get in a brick and Scentsy Club. This is Drift into Dreamland with Baby Freesia, Lavender, and Sweet Pea. It's the coziest scent. Oh, this is, the lavender makes it so relaxing. If you get, if you get anxiety during the day, buy this in the body care. Shower in the morning and layer yourself with the body cream. And I, I'm telling you, it helps with my anxiety. It's just so soothing and it's wonderful before you go to bed. It's a wonderful bedtime scent. It's wonderful for kids. It's glorious and I love this. It's one of my all-time favorites. Jamie Time, great performer. At least a six or a seven out of 10. Just breathe. Um, I don't personally love the citrus in this. If it didn't have the citrus, the lemon, I would love this, but I get weird when they mix lemon with stuff. <laughs> this is Breathe Deeply, a soothing eucalyptus, zesty lemon, and a medley of mints, comfort and rejuvenate. Now I do prefer this over eucalyptus wreath. Eucalyptus wreath leans masculine to me. This is not masculine. This is... No, none of the, not masculine or feminine. I do like this. And I can tolerate the lemon in it just to melt it because it is very refreshing. I am glad this came back. I do want to try this in the body care. It is very refreshing. Um, very spa. I am glad that came back. So I would... I would consider clubbing this because I don't love, love, love eucalyptus wreath, but okay. Lake My Day is a new one. Refreshing lake waves lap peacefully over crisp bergamot and fresh oak moss. Then we have magnolia linen. This one's kind of strong. Sunwashed linen dances in the breeze amid a garden of magnolia and honeysuckle. This is very pretty, but it gets very sharp too. No, it doesn't smell sharp at all here. Maybe it's just the bar I had. I used to love this. I clubbed it, but then the floral got real sharp. Well, it's probably the laundry. Well, uh, laundry can be hit or miss for me. It's got a, it's got a floral in it. <clears throat> it's not the honeysuckle. I love honeysuckle. I tend to really love magnolia. I think it's the sun wash linen that makes it a little sharp sometimes. I wish it was more the magnolia and honeysuckle personally. So it's beautiful mauve color. Beautiful. Then we have make a splash. I do not like this one. Oh, magnolia linen is probably um, at least a seven, maybe an eight out of 10. Make a splash. Dewy melon, and I love melon, <laughs> sometimes I guess, with fresh green apple, dive into refreshing turquoise waters. The melon in here, and I have this in body, and I'm struggling to get through the body cream. The melon, it gets weird. I usually love melon, but when they mix it with other things, apparently I don't love that. Mm, it's okay. 
I don't get any green apple. I get dewy melon and the turquoise waters. It's okay. okay. It's not one for me, but what is that? Pie is six, seven out of 10. Mountain sunset. Take in the view over wild bluebell, warm woods as coconut and golden amber fill the air. I cannot wait to smell that. <laughs> Another really strong scent, newborn nursery. Why this comes back, I don't know. Fresh, clean, and powdery, this dreamy scent invokes memories of cradling your little ones. It's strong. Oh, it's probably a ten, at least a 10, if not an 11 out of 10. Oh, I melted the whole darn thing. Chased me out. Oh, I had to take it out. It was, it was strong. Slow your roll on this one, too. Woo, it's crazy. This, if you melt the whole clam like I normally do, it's like you probably had 10 bottles of Johnson's baby powder blow up <laughs> in your house and you can't breathe. It's crazy. <laughs> wow, that's a strong one. Then we have palm trees and ocean breeze. This was a scent of the month and I clubbed it and I club it all the time because I don't trust them with these and I love, love, love this. Bright palm leaf, fresh coconut water, sway to the rhythm of an ocean breeze. This is gorgeous. This is, I swear, dupe for Clinique, or Clinique, for um, Physique Shampoo. Oh, that's so good. If you love fancy shampoos, yeah, that's fancy shampoo and spa. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I dislike this one very strongly. Shoreline Drive, take the scenic route with dewy greens, passion flowers, sea mist guides the way. If anyone tells you this is on the lines of sand swept, they're wrong. <laughs> because sand swept is literally one of my top five scentsy scents. This is like one of my bottom 10 scentsy scents. I don't like it, so it's nothing like it. <laughs> no, it's sharp. No, I don't like this. Ooh, it has got dewy greens. What do you want to bet it's the dewy greens I don't like? I'm hit or miss with dewy greens. No, it's sweet and it's sharp. It's super sharp. Like, give, it gives me a headache. I have to take it out of my warmers. No. No, it's, it smells like trees a little bit to me, too. It's... It's, it's astringent in the way that Clorox bleach can be. Mm, no, I don't like that one. Just, that is a 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10 at least. No. Uh, with <laughs> lavender, just my opinion. Uh, this is sweet coconut milk, whipped vanilla, and English lavender. I much preferred French lavender. I'm sad they took it away. But I struggled to pick up the vanilla... It's super soft to me. Don't take my opinion on the strength of this because I I struggle to smell vanilla. I either smell it really well or I don't smell it hardly at all. This is so soft to me. When I melt it, it's probably maybe, and it's reaching for me a four out of 10. It's soft. It's it's pretty, don't get me wrong. The, the vanilla, the coconut milk, and the lavender is beautiful. It's just, I struggle to smell it. And then Woodland Meadow is a new release. This is Woodland Wildflowers Flourish Beneath a Beautiful Forest Canopy in an Air of Bergamot and Amber. It makes you see what that one's like. <laughs> then we have the Woods Collection. I do love this section. We have Blue Sage and Tonka. I don't want this one. <laughs> this is Revel in the Richness of Midnight Sage Black Lavender over Sultry Sweetness of Tonka Beans. Sounds like something I would love. It's much too masculine. The... I love sage, I love lavender, and I love tonka bean. But it's just a little... I don't hate it. I just... If you're gonna give me an option, this I'm not gonna to reach to melt this. Would I melt it? Yes. If you gave me a bar, I would melt it. It's it's pretty, but it's masculine. It's 
I want to say it has bergamot, but it doesn't. Well, that they list. <laughs> but it's okay. I prefer my hero or something like that that didn't come back. Bonfire Beach, one of the top scentsy scents of all time in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, this is toasted marshmallows smoldering over white flint sandalwood harmonized with salty sea air and ocean spray. This is not masculine, but this is the sexiest guy. <laughs> oh my lord. This is to die for. And this is probably 6 or 7 out of 10. This can sometimes overtake scents. But the marshmallow, the marshmallow is fantastic oh it's it's beautiful and the flint oh my word it's beautiful it's <laughs> all your beach dreams come true and they have coastal sunset i don't like this one <laughs> it's creamy coconut sandalwood set the scene for warm amethyst and amber see i think it's my and maybe because i have bathroom cleaner in it, it reminds me of my bathroom cleaner They're not identical. I do much prefer Kakui and Coconut. Someone had me do a mix with this and it made me really appreciate Kakui and Coconut more. Um, yeah, this is just Coconut, Sandalwood, and Amber. It's okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's not a bad scent. It's just boring to me. It's okay. It's not the, maybe on some of my disappointment is probably it's not the coconut I'm looking for. This is actually prettier, Kakui and Coconut. It is a little more suntan lotion with the creamy coconut. So I have to say I much prefer Kakui and Coconut. Weird. Uh, and then we have Mystery Band. I actually love this one. This is, even though I never melt it, white cedar, green verbena, citrusy bergamot, and a perfectly spiced sensual fragrance. This is good <laughs> men cologne. Um, Banana Republic, which I, I love when Dale buys Banana Republic jeans. He looks really good in them and he doesn't have much of a, a bottom. <laughs> Oh man, this is like a cologne from Banana Republic. I want to say it's, what is the name of that? Oh, this is good. I need to buy some of this and melt it. More than I think my hero. This is beautiful. This is, this is sophisticated men's cologne in my personal opinion. <laughs> From the girl that has a scent bird subscription. I love Mr. Man. That's sexy man. That's a sexy man too. Banana Republic Cologne. Classic maybe is the name of it. I don't remember. <laughs> um, and then Sandalwood Tangerine. White Cedar. A spritz of Tangerine Bright and Sandalwood Groves. This is a very gender neutral scent. It's good. I didn't get great performance out of it, so the scent profile itself is very nice. It's like a really good soap, <laughs> but it's not soapy. It's like a homemade, it, uh, we got a bar of soap from, uh, it was a homemade bar of soap and it was sassafras scented and this kind of slightly reminds me of that bar of soap. It's like beautiful essential oils and it's it's like a good quality homemade bar of soap. It's it's actually really good. Weathered leather. <laughs> uh, this is Step Into an Old Fashioned Saddle Shop, brimming with dark suede, tooled leather, vintage saddles over a backdrop of oak. And this is like a department store full of fake leather shoes. No. I don't like this one. This is not, not Wilson's leather. <laughs> this is department store shoes. No, <laughs> I don't like that one. I will say this does make a fun mixer, 
Weathered leather does make a fun mixer. Highly recommend it as a mixer. Don't, don't build it by itself. <laughs> I can't even tell you the strength on that because I just can't really melt it. Sandalwood tangerine was light. Mystery man, six out of 10 at least. I think out of, well, besides Bonfire Beach. My second favorite of this collection is Mr. Man. I really do love Mr. Man. White Amber Antique is Alluring Amber Antique Flirt with Fresh Bergamot. This one's good. It's, a, it, it's like a stronger version of Sheer Leather that we used to have. It does remind me of like Abercrombie and Fitch Pierce a little bit. But this is so strong. And it almost has like a, a a powdery baby doll face smell. It's okay. I, yeah, um, I preferred sheer leather because it wasn't so intense. This one has a tendency to kind of give me a headache. Depends. Whereas Mystery Man, no, that's, that's, that's beautiful. That's that's good. <laughs> I do like Mr. Man. But yeah, my Amber Teak, it's okay. It's strong. It's probably a, at least seven, maybe eight out of ten. Then we have the two spice category. Um, cinnamon vanilla. This is inviting blend of vanilla beans, cinnamon, coconut, cassia. I do not like cassia. It's, it's a bark sweet cinnamon and I can't. It kind of, it bothers me. It's the same cinnamon that's in sticky cinnamon buns and fried ice cream. So if you like those, you'll you'll enjoy this. I, I can't with this one. No, I I have cassia oil and I don't like it. Essential oil, it smells just like that. I think is it's slightly Play-Doh. No. <laughs> it's the one and only cinnamon I don't like. And then welcome home. This is warm, welcoming cinnamon and spices. I do like this one. It's okay. It's like potpourri, like a cinnamon potpourri. It's pretty. I need to melt a bar of this because I haven't for a real long time. And then we have bakery. Uh, I'm happy with some of the ones in here, so. Um, this is baked apple pie. It's fluffy crust. There's no crust. Apples, spices combined in a strong scent. This is like the apple pie filling when you put it into the, the pie crust. When you're just mixing it up in a bowl with the cinnamon, the sugar, the nutmeg kind of a thing. And the, the fresh apples. And then you, it's before you bake it. Oh. I love this one. I had a whole brick of it and I used it up from Scentsy Club. I love this. This is apple cinnamon. It's good. I love that one so much. I need another brick. I really do love that. Uh, probably a five out of 10. Blueberry cheesecake. Easy to burn yourself out on this one. So go slow. Go slow on this one. Um, this is thick, rich New York cheesecake with a light graham cracker crust. Delicious blueberries. It's just like it sounds. It's like the blueberry compote. It can lean slightly fake. It's very good, but if you're sensitive to cream cheese, spoiled milk notes, the cream cheese can lean a little spoiled milk. I think it's beautiful, but I got a whole brick of it and it was kind of hard to make it through the entire brick. I don't know that I, I would ever buy a whole brick of it because it's rich. It's super gourmand, cloyingly sweet and rich and decadent. But I think I would buy bars of it because it's it's a bit intense, but it's good. <laughs> Makes you want to eat a blueberry cheesecake. Clementine cupcake is magnificent. A warm vanilla cupcake infused with sweet clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. I like this one better than cutie pie cupcake because I get cupcake with a slight orange, whereas cutie pie cupcake, I get Fruit Loops. <laughs> I'm not about that life. This, I get the golden, this is like an orange Twinkie to me. This is beautiful. 
I love Clementine Cupcake. I would have clubbed it if it would have gone away. I love it. I love it so much. That's a favorite of mine. Lemon drizzle cake. <laughs> this was the Easter bar last year, and I don't know why they brought it back. Lilac sugar, vanilla icing drizzle. Add sweetness to lemon butter cake. This is beautiful on cold. It smells like a lemon drizzle cake like a Starbucks lemon loaf, but the lilac sugar comes out on warm and it makes it weird. I have coconut lemon chiffon that totally way more reminds me of a Starbucks lemon loaf than this does. I wanted to love this, but the lilac sugar makes it funky, but that's probably a five out of 10, probably. Maybe a mocha doodle, my daughter loves this one. Delicious roasted coffee beans and cocoa balanced with sugar, caramel, and heavy cream. It's good. It's like walking into Starbucks. I don't really get coffee. To me, it's all of the cocoa, the caramel, the, the you know, heavy cream and all that. It's okay. It just, it has zero coffee to me. Me personally, it's, it's definitely the frou-frou <laughs> drinks at Starbucks. It's okay but my daughter loves it. <laughs> uh, mocha doodle, probably four or five out of 10. Sugar blossom, I can't wait to smell this. <laughs> sugar dip golden blossoms adorn a shimmering fusion of sugared citrus and vanilla. I cannot wait to see what I think about this. This is my favorite vanilla ever. <laughs> uh, followed by vanilla cream. I really do love the, the bring back, today's the last day to add bring back your bar, bring back my bars to your club and I definitely clubbed vanilla cream. But vanilla bean buttercream, decadent buttercream frosting made with the freshest butter whipped with sh cane sugar and vanilla extract. I've gone through at least two bricks of these from Scentsy Club and I need another one. Cannot get enough of this. I smell this really well and it's a vanilla buttercream. Like, oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. It's amazing. Love that one. Vanilla bean buttercream. I would club it if it ever went away. I love it that much. It's authentic. Then we have the, um, the Elt, um, they're not really limited time offer, but they, they're they um, licensed. So I do love this one. This is a Wizarding World Harry Potter. I'm glad this made it to catalog. Sparkling citrus, green apple, illuminate mahogany woods, while vanilla and a touch of amber add warmth and charm. This is beautiful. And this lasts for days and it morphs as it warms. So more of the scent notes come out, it's beautiful. If you like a good, slightly masculine cologne, it's beautiful. And it smells even better on the second and third day. Um, I, I do love Harry Potter Wizarding World, so that's pretty cool. Now, as we go through these, I'm also going to show you um, Hedwig made it to catalog. I think that's pretty cool. And we have the Wizarding World Harry Potter scent pack. I have this warmer, it's amazing. Uh, this is the Hogwarts warmer. I'm super glad that made it to catalog. And my friend Caroline's gonna be super excited. They have a golden st snitch, stitch? Snitch, yeah, I thought that's what it was called. Golden snitch um, from the Quidditch <laughs> game. It's a buddy clip. I love that that made it to catalog and it's not like limited time offers. So that's very cool. And we have the classic um, Disney Oh Boy. This is juicy grapefruit, cheerfully mixed with bright clementine sugared vanilla. Yeah, it's, it's good, it's fruity. It's fun and fruity. If you love fruity, you'll love it. Mm, probably a five, four out, of, four out of 10 maybe. Totally mini. Pink, the pink melon, hibiscus blooms, juicy apple. I struggle to smell this. Like it's a two out of 10. If you like Aloha citrus, you'll like it. 
It gives me kind of an Aloha Citrus vibe. Um, it's okay. Literally a two out of 10. I keep that one in very small spaces and I highly recommend four cubes in your warmer if you're gonna uh, try that one. And then Disney Mickey Mouse and Friends. This is Georgia peach, orange peel, vanilla. It smells just like peach rings. It's good. Of the three, I love this one, but I'm all about peach rings. That's good. Peach ring candy with the sugar, just like it. So we have like Mickey and Minnie warmers from last year, the buddies, um, the fan diffusers. Those are all very cute. This is exciting. This warmer sold out super fast. <laughs> like I didn't even get one. And I love that the glass makes like a wave pattern on your wall. I'm so tempted to get it. But we, well, I might as well show you the warmer since I'm talking about it. So we have Ariel. Um, what is that one called? Oh, just the Little Mermaid warmer. It's so pretty. Look at the waves on the wall. I love that a lot. That was, that's my second favorite Disney movie. And so we also have Ariel Under the Sea. This is a really good one. I like this better than Kiss the Girl, personally. Um, this is True Love Await. Well, anyways, it's Emerald Water, Green Apple, and Blue Hibiscus. It's very pretty. Again, it's like a lighter version of a fancy shampoo. I really do love this one. Oh, it's, it's very pretty. So if you like Daydream Oasis, if you like Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze, you'll love this. If you like Aloe Water and Cucumber, yeah. So it's um, Ariel Under the Sea, and I personally love this one. This is Disney Princess True Love Awaits. Uh, it was in my catalog, and then they, it was in my club, and they brought it to catalog, so... But I get a, an authentic red rose, which is why I like this one, with fruit. This is ripe raspberry, sparkling mandarin, sweet vanilla. doesn't say anything about rose, but it's an authentic red rose in there. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love that one. And then we have um, the Disney Princess fan diffusers, the Winnie the Pooh. And then we have Hundred Acre Wood. And this is one of my all-time favorites. <laughs> but this is only... True Love Awaits is probably a 7 out of 10. Ariel Under the Sea is probably a 5 or 6 out of 10. 100 Acre Wood is probably a 4 out of 10. But do four cubes in your warmer, warmer in your bedroom. You'll love it. This is Cotton Blossoms Wild Jasmine in Sweet Cozy Vanilla. It smells like it has lavender in it, but it does not. It's cozy. If you love jammy time, if you love fuzzy blanket, if you love uh, even like cozy cardigan, you'll love 100 Acre Wood. If you love French Lavender, you'll love it. It's a good one. My nose is itchy. Um, and then Valley the Valet Black Nose Sheep is sticking around. Thank goodness it's so cute and I haven't gotten one yet. I want one. And I love these buddies, you guys. Or buddy clips. The Mermaid, which I think I was a mermaid in my past life. <laughs> I don't believe in past lives. but And then um, this sea turtle. Oh my goodness. I love baby sea turtles. I've always wanted to watch them go out to sea. And help. I know that's part of the journey. And they're supposed to make that journey all on their own for reasons. And they're protected and you can't. But my dream has always been to like save them from seagulls eating them and help them get out to sea. Because they're just so cute. Like... <laughs> like crazy once they hatch to make it out to sea before they get eaten. Super cute. And then we have, which unicorn? V Vega? Vega the unicorn. Very cute. And the pineapple and the prickly, prickly the cactus. Clean the pineapple, prickly the cactus. I think I have these from a summer collection. Oh no, it's an avocado. I don't have the, the cactus, but I swear I have that pineapple. But, so, I definitely want these two. <laughs> Hardcore. I'm a child. It's fine. And then we still have our air diffuser. Diffuser? You guys, air diffuser? 
amazing. Love this thing, but I don't put pods in it because it eats them up. <laughs> I never smell my pods, but you can. I love this. I have to get this for my son, the air, the pod, um, wall fan diffuser. He's going to love that black and black. And this one's kind of cool. The black and white one. So that one carried over and then we have the new, <clears throat> we have the mini fan diffusers, the Scentsy Goes. I have one, but I always forget to take places. The mini I have in my car. My son has one upstairs. All the pods. Let's see, what are the new pods? We have Abeltini Splash <laughs> coming to pods. Enjoy, guys. Daydream Oasis. I would use those. Pineapple Mango. I would love those. Pink Rhubarb Sugar. That's fine. White Amber Antique. Never, never, never would I use Shoreline Drive. That's just my personal opinion. Never. It would give me a headache for sure. Gives me a headache. I can't with that bar. <laughs> so, yeah, those are the new pods. This is a really cute fan diffuser shade. I mean, it's it could be my aesthetic because I'm beachy. <laughs> Ocean theme. But it's not really my vibe. But it's cute. And then we have the Deluxe Diffuser. I have two. One I'm going to give away. I have the floor. And we have all the diffuser shades. You can see I really love these. So that is, what is this one? This is Enchant and behind me. And out there is the Enrich. I'm a huge fan. I have this black one too, the Shine. I love this thing too. Um, I, I go for the, for the, the shapes like this. I'm not so much about that shape and I don't know why it looks like an egg to me. <laughs> I guess that's why I'm weird about it. Whereas this looks like a genie bottle. <laughs> so, just saying. so I don't know. I just feel like something might hatch out of this one. <laughs> but they're gorgeous. I just... And I'm really sad, you guys. Look at this oil section. Like, how sparse is this? Hmm. Why? I need to get diffusing before they take these away. Because I do love to diffuse. I just, for some reason, want to hoard them all. I am excited to try coconut and sea salt. And Bella Flower and Beechwood. I'm a little scared of dandelion, dandelion and turmeric white tea. And nothing new came out in uplifting. But if I can, I highly recommend watermelon red berries. Amazing. Star fruit and orange zest. Amazing. I need to try orange strawberry melon. And aloe mist or ocean mist and aloe. Sounds kind of fun. Awesome apple. I recommend. Lavender coconut. I don't think I've tried that one. And I can't remember if I tried wild coconut and sugar cane, but if I haven't, I need to. <laughs> uh, the eucalyptus, I love it. Eucalyptus lavender mint is amazing if you like eucalyptus. Peppermint 100% is amazing. What, melon water and aloe, I need to try that. Lavender 100% is amazing. Lemon lavender rain, I do believe I have that and I would like to try diffusing that because in the bottle it smells amazing. Twinkle Twinkle I still need to try and Pink Pineapple and Rose. I'm a little scared of that one because I don't like rose. <laughs> um, the body. You guys look how scary that is. I don't like this you guys. Um, so I definitely want to try Just Breathe. <sighs> so I I the new one is Just Breathe. We have Watermelon Waves and everything. We only have Mystery Man and Body Wash. I need to buy a deal some. Make a Splash. I don't want that. I tried it. I don't like it. Luna. I need to buy some more of that. Jamie Time. I cannot recommend that enough. It's gangbuster amazing. And Coconut Daiquiri is very good. It's very light, but it's like a banana like scented body care and it's very good. So yeah. And Vanilla Waves. I, recommend, I don't necessarily love the body wash on its own. It's a little too salty, but when you layer it with the body cream, then it's then it's grand. And I sometimes think about it and want to put it on my body. So 
Uh, I definitely recommend layering that one and you'll be so happy if you, if you layer Jamie time. Uh, super excited Fiji flower came out. This is my favorite thing ever to do my towels in. My towels will smell amazing for weeks, weeks, literal weeks. Dale complimented. Um, I love black raspberry vanilla. It's a great performer. Clothesline is fantastic in the laundry. Fiji flower is hardcore strong and amazing and I love it. Fluffy fleece is fantastic. I have to say it made me like fluffy fleece more. Jamie time. I get a peppery note in it that most people don't, uh, but I need to try more. I do want to try lavender cotton in laundry. Luna, I have a feeling it's going to be light. You guys tell me if it's not because magnolia linen, I don't smell it. Even with four scoops, I don't smell it. So I'm not very impressed with magnolia linen. I won't buy it again, but that's just me. Odor Out is great and it's the best um, Scentsy Fresh ever. <laughs> it does get odors out. And Pink Cotton, I don't like. It's too sharp. My nose doesn't like that one. I actually didn't mind Coral Water, so I'm kind of sad that one's gone. But, <laughs> and then the cleaning products, love this. Daydream Oasis is new. So I do want to try that because, I mean, I'm all about the shampoo -y scents. Vanilla Mint is fantastic. Sunkiss Citrus is super light, but I have a customer that ordered two and now wants three more. Bathroom cleaner and Sunkiss Citrus because she doesn't like strong scents, strong scents and she really loved Sunkiss Citrus. So much so that she blew through the two and wanted more. So that, if that tells you anything. Squeeze the Day is fantastic. I do enjoy that. That's like the perfect lemon for, for a cleaner. It really is. Make splashes. I'm not a fan. Johnny Appleseed is fantastic. Love it in cleaning, and I'm sad it's only in the bathroom cleaner and counter clean. I worry about the life on that one. Coastal Sunset, I don't care for it in cleaning. Maybe not like the scent even more. Daydream Oasis, like I said, sounds like it's going to be fun, so I'm anxious to try that. I cannot recommend enough the bathroom cleaner. Leave it sit for five minutes to do its magic, and I think you'll love, love, love it. All-purpose cleaner is phenomenal great bang for your buck because it's concentrated so you want to mix it counter clean is phenomenal travel twists so i'm i'm excited blue grotto is coming out in travel twists the only success i've ever had with travel twists is putting it right in front of my keyboard at work any other method i've tried i can't smell it i can't smell it in my backpack i can't smell it in a cupboard like i can't smell it Although, I, well, I mean, come on. In my backpack, it was cinnamon bear. <laughs> how can you, how can you not smell cinnamon bear? But I have swirling snowflakes and I smell it on my desk and it's magnificent. So, but Go Go Mango and Blue Grotto are the new travel twist scents. So I do want to try black raspberry vanilla, vanilla peanut buttercream and um, Blue Grotto. Clean Breeze I would like to. Like I said, car bar clips, put this in your vent to smell it. Otherwise, or car bars, sorry, or else I don't smell them. Room spray, shake it really, really well, and I love them. We have a bunch of them, and I we go through them all the time. Uh, fragrance flowers. The new scents are, well, in the scent packs and the... Oh, no, this specifically says fragrance flowers. So we have oh, Apple Teeny Splash. <laughs> Coconuts for Coconuts, I'm excited about. Daydream Oasis, I would try. Pineapple Mango is exciting. Whip Vanilla Lavender. Why well, doesn't have a star? That seems new. It's not starred, you guys, but yet I don't remember. Oh, uh, maybe because it came out with a Mother's Day? Well, anyways. Love fragrance flowers. You guys, this catalog is so sparse. It's kind of sad. So, yeah. So, let's look at the warmer super quick. Here's the cover. It's coming out at midnight. <laughs> and I do love the, uh, because it's white on white, and they have me at white on white. You see, I have a thing for the white on white warmers. So, they kind of had me there. <laughs> but the, um... 
Charity Warmer. It is called Simple Reminders, and look how lovely that is. I do actually think that's pretty cool. Um, and with boxes going up to $35, so I highly recommend using that as a half price item in your Scentsy Club. Scentsy Club, always get my bar. As consultants, we don't get rewards, but customers get rewards, referrals, and all that stuff. Um, this is gorgeous, and I kind of might have to have it when they might have to have it. <laughs> when someone said it's like, what's it, Brent and Brad? Someone said it's like white on white like white paint with an etching. I was like, oh, I need that. <laughs> it's a 25 watt warmer too, so that's exciting. It says laser etched flowers glow against a frosted interior finish. So I kind of love that. It'd be cute up here with all my other white warmers. And then this, oh, now I have to move this. <laughs> right there <laughs> is my dragonfly away warmer and i love that warmer it's one of my all-time favorite warmers of all time it's gorgeous it looks really cute if you have that enrich shade uh the flower shade on the blue setting <laughs> and i do still want to get this one i think it's really pretty the dancing petals Although I prefer the ceramic mini warmers if I'm going to have one. This is super cute. The sunflower. I do really love sunflowers and it would look kind of cute in my kitchen. Although I have red <laughs> stuff. I, I mean, I could do sunflowers as well. This is super cute, but I'm trying not to buy glass warmers, but man, I love that. I think that was in the UK. Or maybe region three. I don't remember. But it wasn't here. <laughs> it's new here. Daydream. Do what makes you happy. It's cute. There's all these warmers. These are all fun. I'll try to stick to just the new ones. I still want to get still on my radar is rooftop garden. That's what I still want to get. This one. Uh and this butterfly season, I still want to get that one. <laughs> but that's a ceramic mini. And I have Want Your Feathers. It's beautiful. This metal peacock is super cute. I have some stuff from Bath and Body Works where you put a candle in it and some lanterns that are like this. And I kind of want to get this. <laughs> element warmer for my kitchen to go with it. I do kind of still want that considering the Southern hospitality is only $35. The flamingo is really cute, but I don't know what I would do with it. I love flamingos and swans love. So I'm tempted by him, but I just, I don't know. I'm not so sure. I love the warmer. Oh, and this ocean one ocean ombre is still I might get that <laughs> still the aloe plant. I'm still considering cause I love like the succulent <laughs> kind of warmers. I need this and my daughter wants that too. This is my color scheme. This is rose gold metallic finish really warms up the wow factor. This is Savannah. <gasps> it's spectacular. And I used to have an African themed living room with a zebra rug and everything but I I changed it out for an ocean theme because I realized I'm never gonna move to the ocean <laughs> so might as well dress up my living room like the ocean so I changed it all out but my daughter's a zookeeper so she may be eyeing those here's the tiger jasper that's super cute uh so that savannah one's on my radar I'm still considering <laughs> this bubble up warmer. It's really cool with the rainbow, even though I don't love when the bulb shines through. This is 100% on my radar, and so is this diamond, crushed diamond. I have to hurry up and get this. Was it Charity that just reviewed that? 
think it was charity. And I was like, oh, I need that. <laughs> Blue twirl matches my living room and I need that. Aqua glow matches my living room and I need that. Those are all on my list, my want list. This is new, this mini bubble deer descent. That is so cute. Sorry if I don't show the minis. I don't get as excited about the minis. I think we got them all though. This, I'm obsessed. I love how petite this desert bloom warmer is. That's why it's one of my favorite things. It's like super petite and I love element warmers. I want that so much. Uh, I need another diamond milk glass for my bedroom. <laughs> I really want another one. I love it that much. And, ooh, this is really cute though. Um, It says my sun and moon. I really, really want that one because you know how I feel about those. Uh, and as you can see, be kind, trust in him. Oh, the butterfly one you can't get anymore. I want this, it matches my aesthetic, but I'm trying to decide if because the light bulb shines through, it's less in your face than this one. I still want this one for my kitchen, uh, the Vino warmer, but wouldn't that be so pretty with the shining light? Mm, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm going to watch a couple people review it and see, because it's $60 warmer. I'm going to see how it looks, but yeah, you guys, that's the catalog. I'm a little nervous that they're trimming down the catalog and all of this stuff. Don't have pets anymore. Yeah, so buy up that body cream and I, I, I highly, highly, highly recommend GME time and all of the things. <laughs> so thanks for going through the scents with me. Hopefully it's helpful. <laughs> you know which ones I'm, def I'm not, not wanting to melt. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Dale and I will be on with our Mango Sinspirations first sniffs, our 10 new release first sniffs, and the Easter Collection first sniffs. I'm super excited. And I got my catalogs, um, my scent circles, my uh, stickers, my testers, obviously, and my flyer thingies <laughs> that you get in the set. So stay tuned, you guys, and we'll see you real soon.